What's going on? Vital Syntax here, and we're going to be going over the patch notes for Crisis 3's multiplayer that was released during the open beta. Hopefully there's going to be more patches in the future. That's something that I'm really uh, kind of worried about with Crisis 3 because I had a bad experience with Crisis 2 of them just not giving post-launch support. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to go over the patch notes as well as talk about the eight game modes that we have in the full game once that's finally released. So let's first go over the beta patch. So first thing is they've reduced the effectiveness of the Marshall shotgun, which is the pump action shotgun you see quite a bit people using. It's very popular. Uh, they don't give us exactly specific uh, specific details of you know, what values they've changed, if they change the range or the damage or the pellets, anything like that. We just know that they nerfed it in some way. The next thing is the OGR LMG. If you've ever used it, it's the one you start out with. has a ridiculous amount of recoil. Like it's, it's way higher than any other gun. So they reduced that. Uh, the Predator Bow, which is the bow and arrow in the game, has a faster draw time, so you can actually pull the arrow back and shoot it a little bit faster, which is awesome. Uh, the ADS sensitivity has actually been, I think, lowered, uh, because I remember a lot of people were complaining that the uh, sensitivity of actually just looking around versus the sensitivity of looking down your sights was a little bit off compared to other games, so they've tweaked that uh, to make it a little bit more... Uh, closer to other game experiences. And then the AN, uh, AY69 submachine gun, which is actually a secondary weapon, uh, they increase the damage on that. If you've ever used it, you can unload an entire magazine into a guy and he won't die. So that's good. The Pinger has a re increased rotation speed. That's the mech unit or the tripod, whatever you want to call it. Right now or before the patch, you know, it was moved really, really slow. And that wasn't a huge issue on PC because you can, you know, have it higher to DPI or maybe switch your DPI. Just move your mouse really quickly. But on the console side of things, you know, you can only put your joystick all the way to one side. You can't, like, you know, keep going after that. So they increased the rotation speed of the pinger. And the swarmer um, killstreak reward, or whatever you want to call it, uh, they increased the damage on that. So that's the first beta patch. I think they're calling it version 1.0. Hopefully we'll see another patch that's, you know, like a day one patch that maybe fixes other bugs and issues because there's still a lot of things that weren't uh, fixed in this patch. And um, they did say that they plan for future balancing. You know, we'll have to see if they actually follow through with those plans. And on top of that, they also talked about hacking a bit. And they say that they do have hacking measures in place and right now they're kind of just monitoring everybody and seeing how people are hacking because there are plenty of people running around with, with cheats and god mode and things like that. But they, they're going to be uh, kind of locking down on people once the full game is released uh, and banning people, you know, permaban or whatever, depending on what type of hacking they're using. All right, so now let's talk about the game modes that we're going to have in the full retail version of Crisis 3's multiplayer. The first two are obvious. We have Hunter and Crash Site. Obviously, we have those because those were the game modes that we had in the open beta. But on top of that, we have a couple returning game modes from Crisis 2. The first one is Team Instant Action, which is essentially just Team Deathmatch. Then we have Instant Action, which is essentially just Free For All. And then we have Classic Mode. Now this one isn't confirmed, but it's you know highly speculated that this is probably going to be one of them, as well as the other three I'm going to talk about. But uh, Classic Mode is going to be no nano suit and probably like a Deathmatch. It might be a modifier, so maybe you can play like Classic Hunter or classic crash site where you're playing crash site without the nano suit but we'll have to wait and see another speculation is that we might have capture the relay which is similar to you know just capture the flag uh, no, ne next uh, speculation is called spears which is going to be similar to domination type of layout for like call of duty or conquest from battlefield where you have maybe like three uh, flag points one in the middle one towards either uh, team spawn point and you just try and control as many flags as you can for a longer period of time and the last one is Extraction, which is also a speculation. We'll have to wait and see, you know, once the full game comes out to confirm all these. But Extraction, which is supposedly like a attack, defend. Um, this is once again a returning game from Crisis 2, where you attack these, uh, they're called like alien biotics or something. And one team will be defending, one team will be at uh, attacking. You try and capture those a uh, couple points around the map. So overall, I think it's a pretty good selection of game modes. Uh, that we're going to have in the full game. I don't know how many maps there are going to be. Hopefully there's a good selection as well. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is the number of guns because a lot of people are playing the beta and they see there's not very many guns. Well, there's going to be more guns in the full game. Uh, there's some obvious ones that were from Crisis 2, like the K-Volt, which is a submachine gun that shot like these blue like electric orbs, or something like the um, the SCAR assault rifle, which was the default assault rifle and the, the assault rifle they used in the Crisis 2 beta. There's a bunch of other weapons that that are from Crisis 2 that obviously are going to be in Crisis 3. And I'm sure there's other ones that are for Crisis 3 that they haven't shown yet. 
So don't worry, in the full game, once that's released, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, a lot more options for different guns uh, that we can play around with. So anyway, that wraps up my overview of the patch notes, the game modes, and the guns for Crisis 3. Um, I'll probably make some more videos once the game comes out. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.